when we look at people, we saw their challenges, but we don't want to step up and help them. Yeah. We refuse to step up and help them. Yeah, sure. I don't know how I can say, for example, that you are my brother. When I don't do what God I should do. I don't know how I will call you my sister when I don't show you love. How can I say you are my brother? But I don't know your name. It's a fake utterance. It is not the truth. How can I say you are my son, you are my daughter, but I don't know your need? How? Did you see how this young man left Christ's embassy to come to this place? That is what church ought to be. You don't have to have this denominational madness. I am here, I am there, I am here and there. No, no, no. You can go anywhere and worship. You can mix up with anybody. This is time that Jesus said, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. Amen. All flesh. Both criminals and robbers, whatever name them, he said, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. Everyone. Muslims and all that. Listen, let me tell you the truth. If you go to Saudi Arabia, if you go to Iran, there are, there's a move in Iran right now. Yeah? There's a move in Iran right now. That move, many of the Iranian women are being transformed on daily basis. Muslims. They open up underground churches everywhere. And they're meeting each other's need. If any man is lacking, they contribute to establish that person. In Korea, North Korea, or South Korea, sorry, the same thing is happening. North Korea, the same thing is happening. In China, there are underground churches everywhere. There is this move of God. God has poured his spirit upon all flesh. In America, Kanye West, very soon you are going to see Beyonce with her goddess or whatever. She's going to come to Christ. The husband is going to come to Christ. There's something that God is doing now that no man will find on. Honestly, Amen. I don't want to be replaced by stone. Yeah. God forbid. If I were you, I should say, God forbid. Yeah. No way. There is a calling upon our lives. And when we fulfill that mandate, heaven, glow, and rejoice. Amen. But when we fail, we bring pain and agony unto our Savior. And when we don't do what he asks us to do, it's like we are crucifying him the second time. Oh, we are giving him another pain. Because he doesn't want us to be rebellious. He doesn't want us to be disobedient. The move of God in Iran now is heavy. Because Christians think they cannot be You see, suddenly you see one young Muslim man. Isa, 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 he jumped in Nigeria, 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 Nigeria. I said, What is Isa? Jesus. He said, They saw Jesus in their dream. They saw it in the room. They saw one man, very tall, very white, glowing light. There's a testimony everywhere. Jesus Christ has raised the horns. Those remnants are out there, causing havoc everywhere. They are preaching authentic gospel, undiluted. Because the spirit of Jesus Christ has poured upon our flesh. You don't want to preach, you will need someone to preach. I'm telling you. Our Jesus is also arrogant, so if you think that the only one that's arrogant, he's arrogant too. He has a don't care attitude now in this dispensation. Pastors, you want to just have private jets, have your way. If that same private jet will kill you. I'm telling you. You just want to drive good cars, have your way. And you forsake my people, you forsook them to die empty. Die unfulfilled. Or you think when you're done, you come and share my kingdom with me. Hell no. Mm. When you don't serve, you come and share my kingdom with me. I said, no way. When you don't serve, you spend your eternity with those that have self. Where the Lucifer and his angels are going to back Banish and do rot for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. That's where selfish people will also be. But I pray that no man in this place will be in that side. Amen. That side is not for anyone here. It's not for anyone here. 
If this is the only gospel I know how to preach, trust me, I will repeat it, repeat it, repeat it until that, that day comes. Because if you're expecting me to come and read a whole book of Miles Monroe or Pastor Chris or Yaki Lome or Peter or whoever, name them all the great, all the great, mission, great men of God, if you want me to come and start to repeat what they are saying, you are joking because what they are saying is their message. Yes, is their message. Crucify me if you want, but I have to tell you the truth. Amen. Their message is their message. What I'm preaching is the message of Christ Jesus. Their message can fetch a whole lot of money. My message can fetch millions of souls. These are the difference. Those that are win souls are what? Wise. That's what the Bible said. You can win so much money. Please don't get me wrong. Many of them are great men of God. But something has gone wrong in these last days. 